Well, not much today, Candace, as it was a brief hearing for both of the men who uh, appeared before a judge. And during both hearings, no information provided about this alleged mass shooting that police say that the two were allegedly planning. The first hearing was in district court for Roman Balacarcel. It marked the 38-year-old's first appearance since his arrest and was done by video. He was ordered held without bond, but was told by the judge that his attorney could file a motion for one. But that may be unlikely because of what happened in Julio Cesar Alvarado Dubon's hearing across the river in circuit court. That hearing was an appeal by the Commonwealth to Dubon being granted bond by a district court judge last week. In court filings, while the alleged facts weren't mentioned, the Commonwealth argued no amount of bond or conditions could guarantee public safety or ensure Dubon would return for future hearings. But in court today, the two sides announced they'd agreed to have bond revoked. The judge asked the defense if it was because Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE, had a detainer against Dubon, which the lawyer confirmed. ICE also has a detainer for Balacarcel. CBS 6 legal analyst Todd Stone. So since there's a detainer on file and it kind of makes the whole bond hearing moot. At the moment, both men only face a single charge of possession of a firearm by a person not in the U.S. lawfully. Richmond police allege they were planning a mass shooting at Dogwood Dell on July 4th. But again, that was not brought up in either hearing and neither side would comment to reporters after Dubon's case. But new court documents for Balacarcel were made available. Information in his arrest warrant repeats what police have said about a tipster calling about a mass shooting on July 4th by people with high powered rifles, but there is no mention of a location for the alleged plot. It also says because police found firearms in the home where the two men lived, quote, the witness who gave the tip was credible about the weapons, end quote, but does not say anything about the credibility or lack thereof on the tip of the mass shooting. Unless somebody admits to, you know, having a plan to go out and commit a mass shooting or unless there's a drawing or a map or something like that in there, then you really wouldn't have corroboration of that part of the tip. Stone says unless specific charges are brought related to the alleged plot, prosecutors could go through the entire gun case without ever mentioning details about it, but says if they get a conviction, it's something they could bring up during sentencing if they want a tougher sentence. You would expect to hear a prosecutor bring that up at sentencing because it's something that a judge would want to take into consideration when considering what the sentence you know, should actually be within the range. Now up next for both men will be court hearings in early August.